Sutra, Limitless Disciples of the Buddha, where we learn to enter the Dharma realm and with self-masteries of spiritual penetrations, universally pervade the ten directions, through compass equal in amount to living beings. If the names of their world systems were spoken, they also would not come to an end, unless the Buddha were to state them. Commentary, all of you, limit these disciples of the Buddha, if you well learn the Dharma spoken by all Buddhas, you will be able to enter the Dharma realm. You will certify to wisdom and the principles of the Dharma realm, and with the attainment of all the self-masteries of spiritual penetrations, universally go and pervade the ten directions. Through compass equal in amount to living beings as many compass as they are living beings, if the names of their exceedingly many world systems are, were spoken, they also would not come to an end unless the Buddha were to state them for us, and then we could know. Sutra of world systems and thus come ones, the various names and titles passing through the meekless compass could not be exhaustively spoken. How much more does that hold true for surpassing wisdom, the dramas of all Buddhas, of the three periods of time which arise directly from the Dharma realm and permit the first come ones go out with the mindfulness that is pure and unobstructed and boundless unobstructed wisdom. Speaking in detail of Dharma realms, there are other sure could be attained. Commentary of world systems and first come ones, the various names and titles passing through the needless compass could not be exhaustively spoken. There are so many names of world systems and Buddhas that even if one were to list them for limitlessly many compass, they could not all be spoken clearly. How much more does that hold true for most surpassing wisdom? The spoken dramas of all, dham, of all Buddhas of the three periods of time which arise directly from the, the Dharma realm and permit the first common ground, the position of, uh, to which Buddha certified with mindfulness that is pure and unobstructed and boundless unobstructed pure wisdom. Speaking in detail of all Dharma realms whatsoever, there are other shore could be attained, one could reach the other shore of ultimate Nirvana. Sutra, all the world systems in the past, vast and great, or else minute and subtle, which have been adorned through cultivation, in one thought can thoroughly be known. In their midst of the lions among people, cultivated various Buddha conducts, accomplished equal and proper enlightenment, and manifested all of the self-masteries. In the same way, in the future times, successively through compass without the meat, the Bodhisattvas can completely know all the honored ones of humankind and all their conduct and their vows as well as all their states how diligent they were in cultivation they are in achieving right enlightenment and know the multitudes of their assemblies their lifespans as they transform living beings using all of these portals of dharma turning dharma wheels for living beings when the bodhisattvas know in that way they dwell on universal worthy conduct ground with this wisdom of total comprehension which produces each and every Buddha all included in the present time each one of the many Buddha lands deeply enters of all of these treasures and penetrates throughout the Dharma realm within every one of those world systems each and every Buddha of the present Having obtained mastery of the Dharma, proclaimed without obstruction whatsoever, they also know the multitudes of their assemblies, their pure lands and powers of responsive transformation, and how exhausting limit these ten millions of compass they constantly consider those affairs. Of taming masters honored by the world, all their awesome spiritual might, and inexhaustible treasuries of wisdom are uh, every bit completely known to them. 
commentary basically there is no past time and there isn't any future or present time either so why then does the sutra text say all the world systems in the past and go on to talk about the future and the present it's because living beings have those kinds of discriminations into three periods of time in their minds the world systems in the past many have been vast and great or else they were minute and subtle world systems both of which have been adorned and brought about through cultivation on the part of buddha's bodhisattvas the world systems also came into being due to the accumulated false thinking done by living beings in one thought all of their causes and conditions can thoroughly be known by the bodhisattvas in their midst the lions among people who dwelt in every world in the past all cultivated the various different kinds of doors of buddha conduct as living beings they cultivated accomplished equal and proper enlightenment and having become buddhas taught and transformed living beings to do so they manifested all the dharma doors of the self masteries of spiritual penetrations in the same way for the world systems in the future times successively in very orderly procession through boundless compass without limit the bodhisattvas can completely know about all the buddhas the honored ones of humankind and they can know about all their cultivation of every conduct and their making and fulfilling vows as well as all their states and how diligent they were in cultivation of the various doors of practice therein within those world systems achieving right enlightenment and the bodhisattvas can know how many living beings there will be in the multitudes of their assemblies after they become buddhas they can also know about their lifespans how long those buddhas will remain in the world as they teach and transform living beings using all of these portals of dharma dharma doors turning the great dharma wheels for the sake of all living beings when the bodhisattvas know in that way when they first know and first see all the previously discussed dharmas they dwell on universal worthy conduct ground they cultivate the dharma doors of universal worthy bodhisattvas great conduct and great vows with its wisdom of total comprehension when one cultivates the doors of practice of universal worthy bodhisattva one acquires the kind of wisdom that universal worthy bodhisattva has which produces each and every buddha the wisdom of universal worthy bodhisattva since it brings about all buddhas is the mother of all buddhas all included in the present time the world systems of the present each one of the many buddha lands deeply enters all of these buddha sutras and penetrates throughout the dharma realm penetrating the principle and substance of the dharma realm within every one of those world systems each and every buddha of the present now propagating the dharma having obtained mastery of all of the buddha dharmas skillfully proclaims without any obstruction whatsoever they also know the great multitudes of their sea like assemblies the pure lands and powers of responsive transformation the pure lands of all the buddhas and their power to teach living beings who should be transformed and how exhaustingly meet these 10 millions of compass they constantly consider those affairs for that long a time they constantly reflect upon how to teach and transform living beings of taming masters honored by the world the teachers of humans and gods who are honored within the world and beyond the world all their awesome spiritual might and inexhaustible treasuries of wisdom are every bit completely known to them sutra they bring forth the unobstructed eye unobstructed ear nose and body and an unobstructed vast long tongue bringing happiness to living beings their unobstructed mind the most supreme of vast great universal purification with the wisdom which is everywhere believed knows all dharmas of the three periods of time they well learn about all transformations transformations of churches 
transformations of living beings, transformations of wounds, and transformations of subduing, and ultimate transformation to reach the other shore. The various distinctions of world realms, all remain in jail because of thought. Upon entering the spreading wisdom of a Buddha, this is all entirely understood. In ineffably many multitudes of assemblies, they make appear a body for each one, enabling them to all see the first come ones, rescuing and saving boundless living beings. Commentary: They are able to bring forth the unobstructed eye, unobstructed ear and nose, and tongue and body and mind, and an unobstructed vast long tongue, bringing happiness to living beings. Their unobstructed mind, the most supreme, is the unobstructed mind faculty among the six faculties. This mind of vast, great universal purification, so all living beings are made pure with the wisdom which is everywhere but received throughout and displayed in the Dharma realm. Those all dharmas of the three periods of time, the past, the present, and the future, they well learn about all Buddha's dharmas, and so they understand. How all transformations are brought about, they understand transformations of shetras, and how to effect transformations of the living beings within those shetras. They also understand transformations of wounds and transformations of subduing. How to teach and transform living beings in the wounds, so those beings become tamed and subdued, and ultimate transformation of living beings to quickly reach the other shore. The various distinctions of world realms all remain and dwell because of false thoughts on the part of living beings. Upon entering and obtaining the spreading wisdom of a Buddha, these all of these causes and conditions is all entirely and clearly understood. In inevitably many multitudes of assemblies of living beings, they make appear a body for each one of those living beings. Which manifests and speaks dharma for that living beings, enabling those living beings, all of them to all see the thirst commands, the Buddhas rescuing and saving all the limitless and boundless living beings. That's why we make the vow: living beings are boundless. I vow to save them all. Sutra, the deep and profound wisdom of all Buddhas. Is like the sun arising in the world, in each and every one of the countries. It universally appears without resting, penetrating all in the world as being false names with no true actuality. Living beings as well as the world realms are like dreams and also just like shadows. Regarding all the worldly dramas, Buddhas do not bring forth views of discriminations. And those who are well free and discriminations also do not see discriminations. The meaningless and boundlessly many compass they understand to be a single thought, and they also know that thought is without thought. That is how they see the world. All the lands and countries without limit in one thought are entirely transcended. Yet passing through the meaninglessly many compass, they do not move from their original place. From them, all the ineffably many compass are just the shortest possible interval. They do not see long or short duration, but make ultimate the drama of a shana. Their mind dwells within world systems, and world systems dwell in their mind. But towards these, they do not falsely give rise to discriminations of dual and non-dual, living beings and worlds as well as compass, all Buddhas and all Buddhas dramas. Are、uh, all like illusory transformations. The Dharma realm being totally one sameness, universally in shetras of the ten directions, they make appear limitlessly many bodies. Yet they know the bodies arise out of conditions, and are ultimately without attachment to them, based upon non-dual wisdom. There appear lines among people. Who are not attached to their being non-duality, knowing there is neither duality nor non-duality. Commentary: The deep and profound wisdom of all Buddhas is like the sun arising in the sky in the world, 
So all living beings see the sun whose light shines everywhere in the world, in Egypt and in every one of the countries in all the worlds, it universally appears without resting. No matter what country it is, the sun shines there. So too, the Buddha's wisdom shines, penetrating all in the world as being nothing but all, at all but false names with no true actuality whatsoever. Living beings as well as the world realms are all like dreams and also just like shadows where there is light. Regarding all the worldly Buddha, Dharma, Buddhas do not bring forth views or knowledge of discriminations. And those kinds of people who have wisdom and who are well free of all discriminations also do not see discriminations. Not only do they not discriminate, they don't even think in terms of discriminations. They don't have any outlook that involves discriminations at all. Limitless and boundlessly, many compass they understand to be a single thought, although we speak of there being such a limitless stretch of time as that many compass, when they are understood, they are all within a single thought, and they also know that thought is without thought, an instant of thought is no thought. That is how they see the world. Once they are able to look upon worldly dramas in that way, then all the lands and countries without the meet in one thought, they are, are entirely transcended. The Buddhas overpass them all in just one instant of thought. Yet, pass, passing through limitlessly, many come past, they are constantly in Samadhi. Nonetheless, right within Samadhi, each Buddha is able to go throughout the world systems of the ten directions to teach and transform living beings. But even though they are teaching and transforming living beings, they still remain in Samadhi and do not move from their original place. Without moving from where they originally are, their response penetrates in a call to teach and transform living beings. For them, all the ineffably, ineffably many great compass that go by are just like the shortest possible interval of time that has passed. However, in the world, one knows not how many thousands of years of time have gone by. What is the principle behind this? It's because one is in Samadhi and therefore the passing of thousands of years is experienced only as a split second of time the shortest possible interval of time. That happened to the venerable Master Su Yun when he was dwelling in a small hut on Chongnan Mountain. He put on some potatoes to cook and then went to sit in meditation and entered Samadhi. When he came out of Samadhi and looked in the pot, he saw that the potatoes had all sprouted long hairs of mold. Then he asked other people and found out and found out that more than 20 days had passed. In Samadhi, the shortest possible interval is several thousand compass in the world. In this case, many thousands of great compass go by. Moreover, they do not see long or short duration. You shouldn't use your false views and make a relative comparisons, saying one interval is long in relation to another which is short but make ultimate the drama of a shana. If you can reach the ultimate of having two false thoughts, you can penetrate even the space of a shana. One shana is basically very short, but 900 productions and extinctions still take place within the interval of a shana. So, if you understand the question of time, going from birth through old age and death, all happens in the space of a shana. May flies are born in the morning and die in the evening, yet they feel that the time has been very long. There are bacteria which go through their entire lifespans in what for us is the blink of an eye, but for them it is very long. On the other hand, 50 years among humans is just one day and night in the heaven of the four heavenly kings, while one day and night among humans is 50 years for beings in their house. That is when people are experiencing happiness, they feel that the time is short, but then when they are afflicted, they feel the time is long. 
As for all Buddhas, their mind dwells within world systems, and world systems dwell, dwell in their mind. They keep the worlds always in mind, but towards this, they do not falsely give rise to discriminations of dual or non-dual. Basically, inside there is no body and mind, outside there is no world. So one shouldn't falsely give rise to all those kinds of discriminations about whether the mind and world systems are dual or non-dual. Living beings and worlds, as well as compass, all Buddhas of the Ten Directions and Three Buddhas of Time, and all Buddhas Dharmas, the Three Stores and Twelve Divisions of the Canon spoken by the Buddhas, should not be considered to be actual. They are all like dreams and like illusory transformations, the Dharma realm and empty space being total one sameness. Universally in Shetras of the Ten Directions, they the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas make appear limitlessly many bodies. It's not knows how many. Yet they know the bodies arise out of causes and conditions and are ultimately without attachment to them. Speaking in ultimate terms, there should be no attachment to worlds or bodies. Based upon non dual wisdom, Truth in the primary sense, wisdom of the primary meaning, their appearance among people in the world who accomplished Buddhahood and teach and transform living beings, who are not attached to there being no duality. They do not become attached to the Dharma door of there being duality. Why not? It's from knowing there is neither duality nor non duality. They know that since there is no duality, there is no negation of duality possible. Basically, there isn't even one, so how could there further be two? When not a single drama is established, the myriad dramas all are empty.